Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a video on the topic how we can debias news data. So often times we had faced this problem where our model output is kind of like biased towards many criteria and this has been a problem for many AI solutions. So in this particular package we are going to see how we can kind of detect and recognize the bias causing words or phrases and then how we are kind of like uh, recommending new words so that the whole article gets debiased. So this particular package has been created as part of a research program or called bias and fairness in AI and I would like to thank Ms. Shaina and Ms. Cherry for supporting me in this particular research. So let's get started and try to understand this particular package on how it's kind of like mitigating or ensuring fairness in the news data or kind of like transforming the biased news articles to unbiased. So this is the official GitHub page for this particular package and this is the readme file and we have actually detailed on how to install this particular package so you can easily install the package using pip command. So pip install dbias along with the dependency for the NER model and that's a wheel file. So there are few components in this uh, package as I mentioned earlier. So first feature is called text debiasing where we are kind of like transforming the entire sentence into a debiased format. So either the output will be kind of like fully debiased or it can be kind of like partially debiased. So pa by partially debiased what I'm meaning is like it can reduce the bias basically. So that particular feature is also there. and the second important feature is it can actually detect or classify whether the sequence is biased or not. And the third one is we can kind of like recognize what are the bias causing components in this particular uh, sentence or phrase in this news article. And the fourth one is we can kind of like mask out the sentences or where the bias causing components are there in the whole article so that manually or by a subject matter expertise they can actually kind of uh, change it whenever it's required. So these are some of the features as part of this particular uh, this particular package and we are going to see some examples where we can run over a bulk of data. So in this particular readme file you can see how we can simply run it over a particular news article but often in many uh, production cases we need to run it over a bunch of articles. So this is the example notebook where I am explaining how we can kind of like use this debias package and with few lines of code we will be able to kind of like run it in a uh, production scale. So first of all we need to import all the components. So that's up to the user whether he needs uh, so let's say the user needs only to fully debias the data so they just need the text debiasing functionality of this particular package so if they need all of these functionalities then we need to import all of these packages and I'm just installing importing pandas as well so uh, before that I would like to explain about little bit of debias dependency so it is uh, build on top of transformers so obviously transformers is a dependency and spacey latest version is also a dependency so along with it we have pandas and numpy and other basic packages so uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, how we can kind of load these packages and let me read a sample data to show this particular uh, or to demonstrate the functionality of this package so in this particular example I am loading a sample data and let's subset it to 50 so that uh, we are it, it, it take less time to kind of run for this particular example or demo. So uh, I have written some custom functions so that we get the output in a very structured way when we are running it on bulk article or in a data frame format. So uh, these are very basic uh, functions where we can kind of like customize so that uh, we need or we can get the output in a very structured format. So for example this is a custom function for classification then this is for recognizing and finally for debiasing. So in this particular example you can see I'm just going to run 
the custom classification and my input data is nothing but some articles news articles basically so I'm just running this uh, code now so that it it should return me okay so I didn't run this uh, function so let me just run it okay okay now the model is running one of the model is running actually in the pipeline and uh, it will kind of like return what is the state of that particular news article whether it is biased or not and along with it what is the probability of that particular uh, bias state so this is the output kind of so we have the sentences and the state and the probability and it is kind of like returning for all the 50 sentences now I need to understand what are the bias causing words or phrases in this news article so that is the second component in this particular package so for that we have to run this particular command and so I'm just applying it over this particular data frame so that it's easy and vectorized so uh, I'm kind of like running this custom recognizer function which is nothing but uh, all of these functions are actually calling the uh, uh, main usage so for example classification it is just calling classify of x so x should be nothing but the string uh, similarly recognizer of x and run of x so run of x will kind of like dy so just to get or retain the specific format I'm just running it so if you see here this is the output coming from the second uh, model actually so what are the biased bias causing words in this particular text or in this news article so these are the bias causing words and now the last step so I'm going to run the last step basically so last step is nothing but we are kind of like uh, masking the these bias causing components and we are kind of like recommending unbiased suggestions so the model is kind of like trying to understand whether the sentence is biased or not and if it is biased then it is kind of like trying to reduce the amount of bias in certain cases model will not be able to find even if it is biased it will not be able to find the bias causing words also there will be cases like that in that case maybe model will not be able to kind of replace that particular one so because there is nothing to mask out and to recommend new words basically so that's how the program is structured and now it is actually kind of running through all the examples okay so now the model run is completed so uh, in this example we have run it for around 50 uh, news articles and we are actually saving the data in the form of suggestions.cy csv and let me pull up the output so this is how the output will look like so uh, we have the text we have the state then probability bias towards and suggestion so in the suggestion it is nothing but recommendation of this particular model with the unbiased information so basically that's how it is kind of like structured also if you like to further explore this particular package on some other data set like you can take a look at other sample notebooks here so there have been some examples where I'm integrating the news API data so Google News API data is kind of like uh, rendered through this uh, debiased package and uh, unbiased recommendation is being uh, thrown as output or suggested basically so you can you can take a look at how it's kind of like structured and uh, you can try it out on your own with your custom data and see how it works and uh, yeah so that's that's about this particular package so that's it for today and uh, I would like to thank you all once again for supporting me for my channel and uh, just feel free to use this particular uh, repository, install it and try to use your own sentences and if there is any feedback just, uh, just let me know. We can actually tweak the model and make it much better than how it is currently. So uh, I would like to thank you once again and uh, wish you all good luck for the next year and thanks a lot. Bye.